Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. You're going for a walk with me today. Are you excited? We're going to my favorite place in the world, Lake Michigan. Come on, let's go. Every single day So today I'm going to be answering five burning questions that you need to know before you buy a cavitation machine. Now these might be questions that you have before you buy one, or you may have already purchased one and you're wondering, all right, now what? Well, I am going to answer those questions for you today while I go for a walk along Lake Michigan. So I live in Kenosha, Wisconsin, which I absolutely love. It is right on the border of Illinois and on the shore of Lake Michigan. So we are right in between the two major cities of Milwaukee, Wisconsin and Chicago, Illinois. And I used to work in Chicago on the lake as a tour guide on the boats there. I was an architectural tour guide there. I absolutely loved that job. I have moved several times from Kenosha thinking, oh, I'm just going to have a much better life if I just go somewhere else. But reality is, is that there really is no place like home and Kenosha, Wisconsin is amazing. I'm going to show you our quaint little downtown. <music> Now we're heading right to the lake. Look at how gorgeous it is here. Huh? There was one thing I really wanted to discuss before you buy a cavitation machine or when you get that cavitation machine and you're wondering, what do I do now? So we'll talk about that here in a minute. question I'm going to answer is can you lose fat with the cavitation machine alone or do you need diet and exercise well the answer is now the reason why I say yes and no is that you absolutely can lose fat using the cavitation machine however it's only going to increase your weight loss if you start to exercise and if you start eating a healthy diet, right? Just makes sense. The other thing too is that with exercise, it takes so long for you to see the results, right? With the cavitation machine, you're probably going to see results within the first 24 hours. And that's gonna be exciting. Not only is it going to be exciting, but you're gonna to wanna to lose weight. You're gonna feel confident and you're gonna finally feel like, I can do this. When you exercise, it gets discouraging because you don't see results right away. And that's why most of us can't stick to a workout program. We don't see those instant results, so we get discouraged and we think, oh, 
I can't do this. I'm not seeing the result. And we give up way too quick. With the cavitation machine, you're gonna see instant results. You will. It's going to motivate you. You're gonna to wanna to lose weight. You're gonna to wanna to start taking all those necessary steps to add to these treatments. Now for the first two weeks I didn't exercise because I really wanted to see whether the cavitation machine was gonna work all on its own or not. And it did. That made me want to start taking care of my body because I saw those changes and it made me feel so good. And so I started slowly. I started doing low impact aerobics type exercise. I started doing a little bit of yoga and a lot of stretching every night before bed. And today I am up early and I'm out for a walk. I'm starting to see so many good results, not only from the cavitation machine now, but also from doing my planks, which were not easy at first, but they start getting easy and you just kind of take everything slow. And then you start building up and you're gonna see a huge increase in results when you start doing that, when you start adding all the great things to your life, like exercise and healthy eating. <laughs> that doesn't necessarily mean that I've been only doing healthy eating because I had a really good pan drop cookie last night. And I've been eating pizza. Now the next thing you might be asking yourself is, well, how long is this gonna take me to do this? Well, if we're talking time, as in how many minutes or how many hours a day it's going to take, that's all gonna depend on what you're going to be working on. I started out just with my belly because that's really where I wanted to focus. Now that was taking me an hour a day because as I've explained to you before, I actually go very, very slow with the machine to get better results. Here's the thing. If you don't have time to exercise, you will not have time for the cavitation machine. You just won't. And it's a time where you're just kind of sitting still. You're immobile. So you need to watch a good TV show or listen to a good audiobook. Hint, hint. But it's gonna take some time. As you start increasing the areas that you're doing on your body, it could take anywhere up to two hours. And remember at first, you'll be doing it every day for five to 10 minutes per area. And remember, that's not just your whole belly. When you're doing an area, you're doing a small section. Your belly is probably about six sections. Remember, you're gonna be doing it bottom to top, side to side, and then in the middle, bottom to top. So at 10 minutes per section, that's an hour. Welcome to our lighthouse. Okay, next question, number three. Do I really have to do it every day? <laughs> The answer again is yes and no. No, you don't have to do it every day unless you wanna see results. Then you should do it every day. If you're really, really trying to get rid of fat, then do it every day. You have to be consistent. That's the only way this is going to work is if you're consistent with it every single day and then working like the instructions say. The lake is really high. I very rarely see the lake this high. If you want to see good results, then you should do it every day.
I wouldn't focus on too many areas at one time. Otherwise, we're going back to question number two, will you be doing it for three or four hours? Question number four, should I use a body shaper? Absolutely. I can't stress enough how important it is for you to get a body shaper and or a tummy trainer. <sighs> I just recently bought a tummy trainer on Amazon for 10 bucks and I love it. I use it at night so I can make it as tight as I want because it has the Velcro attach. So what I do at night is I actually just put that on when I go to sleep. And I put it on pretty tight so that my tummy is sucked in all night while I'm sleeping. Cause it's really hard to kind of walk and sit and do your normal everyday activities with the trainer on. With a body shaper, that's different. That's something that you can wear every single day and kind of suck it all in. Now the reason why I suggest that you get one of these or both is that when you're starting to lose fat, what's going to happen is your skin's gonna to start to sag. So you need something to start training your tummy to go back into place. So you want those shapers or the tummy trainer to make sure that your stomach is in, your hips and your thighs, wherever you're working. Now the shaper that I have goes all the way down to my mid thigh and it goes all the way up to my chest area so that it's sucking in all these areas on the side as well as my tummy, my hips, my butt, and my inner thighs. I love the body shaper because as I'm losing all this fat, the body shaper kind of keeps everything in together and flattens everything out. And I love the way that my body looks when I'm wearing it. So it accentuates all of those great areas and it gives me that hourglass figure that I love. I can't stress enough how much this tummy trainer has helped. When I do my tummy treatments and then I put the tummy trainer on at night, it's like a miracle. I wake up with a flat tummy every morning. And I think the more that I use it and then use the body shaper, that I am seeing better results, not just using the cavitation machine, but also using the cavitation machine with the body shaper and the tummy trainer. I cannot recommend this more. In fact, if I were you and you haven't bought the machine yet, I would get your machine, but I would buy a tummy trainer and a body shaper with it immediately. I wouldn't even give it a second thought because I wish I would have done that right away from the beginning. I probably would have seen much better results. All right, that was tip number four. Okay, I'm heading back to the car already. It's amazing how fast a walk can go when you're talking with your friends. And I do consider all of you to be my friend. I wanna thank so many of you who have joined me on this journey and continue to join me on this journey. I wanna call out one of my subscribers. Her name is Jennifer. And I absolutely love this woman. She has been so encouraging and loving and kind and good to me. And I just wanna say, Jennifer, thank you so much for your love and support and for believing in me and my channel. It really means a lot to me that you are following me and that you believe in me and you believe in my channel. And I just want you to know, I believe in you too. I believe in all of you. And, and I believe that if you get this machine, you are going to find such joy 
in yourself again. Such freedom, such love for yourself that maybe you haven't had in a really long time because your body just doesn't fit. <laughs> it doesn't fit you anymore. And it hurts and it tears us down. And we all we can think about most of the time is, God, I hate my body. And when you start to hate your body, you start to hate yourself. And that's the worst part about it. So I just want you to know that the changes that you're about to make, they're gonna be so powerful for you. They're gonna be life changing. You will never be the same again for the better. I know I feel so good. I feel good getting up early in the morning and walking. And while my feet hurt a little bit, it's not too much. And it's so worth it to be out here on the lake, walking and smelling the lake air and fresh air. Morning. Morning. And seeing really nice people along the way. Don't be afraid of this journey. I know some of you are thinking this is too good to be true. You know, all we can do is take those risks and find out. What if it is too good to be true? What have you lost? A hundred dollars. <laughs> I know that's a lot of money to some of us, but you're not gonna lose a hundred dollars. That hundred dollars just bought you freedom from feeling so insecure and insignificant in today's world. It's going to boost your self-esteem. It's going to make you feel good about you and the world around you. I'm so much happier. And isn't it crazy that we rely on our body to make us feel that way? But like I said, when we get like this and we see our body in the mirror, we ask ourselves, who is that? I don't know this person. And suddenly we don't make sense to ourselves. We ask ourselves, what have I become? Why am I like this? Why do I look like this? Why can't I look like her? Because we live in that day and age of comparison. Don't compare yourself to anyone else, not even me. Find out for yourself if this works because everybody's results are gonna be different based on your body, based on your needs, based on the things that you might continue to do or choose not to do anymore. Everything is a choice. So we have a choice. We can take this machine and we can turn it into something beautiful or we can buy it and we can put it in our drawer and forget about it and be miserable. It's our choice. Okay, last question. Why don't I use the cavitation machine on my face every day? <laughs> oh, well, as I said, it's time consuming. It's so time consuming just to do the areas like my belly, that's an hour. Now to do the deep cleansing and then to do the oils on my face or the moisturizer or the serum, that's gonna take another hour. And seriously, before bed, like that's the last thing I want to do. 
I just don't want to spend all of that time in the bathroom <laughs> looking in the mirror and trying to do the cavitation machine. I think I would find it easier if I could bring it into the shower with me and do it that way. In fact, a lot of times I'm thinking, man, I wish the cavitation machine would work in the shower because I would be able to do it better in the shower, I think. So I actually purchased a new machine. Um, it was very cheap. It was only $27 on Amazon. It's a sonic facial brush and it actually gets charged by USB which is really cool. And from the reviews that I've read, you can actually use this for an entire week without having to charge it. So it's really awesome. And I can use it in the shower. Yes, it has a silicone uh, scrubber on it. It is electric, um, but of course it's charged by the USB. So that's cool. No batteries, no plugins. So that's awesome. And it has three different modes. It has exfoliating, a deep clean, and also a vibration to actually help reduce wrinkles. So I'm really excited to get that. I should be getting that today and I will be trying that out and I'll let you know how that goes. It's just so hard to, you know, do all these things throughout the day, especially now if I'm working out you know, this takes a little bit more time out of my day as well. So I'm spending an hour doing the treatments and then I'm spending maybe another hour out here walking. I like to do the nighttime exercises as well to kind of help me sleep better. And I really love that I'm getting a little bit more flexible as well. And as I continue to stretch, I'm hoping that I will be able to maybe start doing some more difficult type yoga that I haven't been able to do before. So that's been really exciting for me to just push my body a little bit harder than I normally would because I've been so afraid of my neuropathy. Truth is my hips hurt pretty bad right now, which is why I'm sitting down. It's not so much my feet, it's my hips. I get it right in the side of my hips and in the back on my lower back. And sometimes if I don't listen to my body and just take a rest, I could quite literally get paralyzed for up to an hour and I won't be able to move. And down by the lake, that's really not what I want to be happening. <laughs> I have to listen to my body. That's the other thing I want to tell you is you need to listen to your body. That's one thing I don't do. I haven't done in the past. I haven't listened to my body. I haven't been pushing my body like I should have been and even with my limitations with neuropathy I should have been doing that I should have been taking the risks and I should have just been trying a little bit but I didn't I got complacent and that's how my body started falling apart and then I started feeling bad about myself, that I just wasn't doing enough, or that I was lazy. And that was awful. Because you start to beat yourself up. And it becomes a rut that you're in, and you can't get out of it, and you don't know how to beat it. <laughs> 